I had this, I had this experience at, at, at work once where I, um, I was leaving work, I had my earphones in, I was listening to some stuff, and I, I, went, I went to the bathroom, I went to the urinals because I needed to, to, to do a wee. And Thanks for that update. And, and, and as that was happening, I, I, I moved my hand and I knocked my earphones. No, no, no. Yeah, you know what's coming, right? And it was just like the slow motion of them falling. And, I, and there was people at the urinals next to me, so I couldn't do anything about it, right? And you didn't knock it into... Well, no, no, yeah. Well, if it, Ghostbusters has taught me anything, don't cross the streams, right, is, is, the, is the key rule. No, I couldn't catch it. I was, I, I, and, but once they'd landed in there, they're ruined, right? Yes. So You're just, not going to shove those back in you. So I just carried on. And it was this sort of really depressing moment where I just continued to urinate on, on, on my earphones. Uh, how is this in any way related? Because that reminds me of so many websites. I've been reminded of that moment when developing so many websites. And, and it's because if something like that, when you're developing for i6, it's like, why even try at that point? It's already <laughs> been pissed on. It's, it's, they're already ruined. So why, why not just carry on? Go, yeah. Just carry on. Just make it. I still think the web has, has the simplest hello world, right? It's just doc type, hello world, and now you have a web page. That's all you need. Or is it? Right? I, no. Y yes, it is. No, it's not. No, because we've made it impossible, frankly. We haven't made it impossible. Yes, we have. To, to get going with the web, first install NPM, then probably install Bower, and then when you install Gulp or Grunt or both, and then download all the modules you need, and then you wrap bizarre things like Watcherify around, Browserify around, Babelify, and then stand on one like Face Due East, and then, and only then, are you good enough to build for the web. What you're, what you're talking about there isn't building something for the web, it's being excellent at the web, right? It's, being, it's making the web really good. No, because, that, no, no. And I know no. that's different. No, no, okay, no, go on, because, carry no, on. because every single tutorial, when you get past Hello World, is going to say, in order to proceed, you're going to require these tools. So it's not, no, we, we've not, we, you're making it sound like there's a kind of on-ramp where we gently go, I know you've got this far with the web, but now you need to just ease across to these tools. Oh, and then lovely and easy to work with. No, 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 we just go, to begin, first invent the universe. I do get it, and I, like, I don't want to say that the tools are bad, the tools are wrong, but I am concerned that the next generation of developers is going to get somehow left behind. It feels like we're not taking enough care over that journey that people are going to naturally have to go through. And I saw this with Flash, actually, when ActionScript got so advanced and the tooling got so advanced that it was just a, a brick wall. And one of the great strengths of Flash is it had all these designers coming in early on, uh, people who were naturally sort of inclined to code, but they started to dabble, and then the dabbling became good and, and professional. And, and then, be, you know, before you know it, you've got these people who would, would have never described themselves as coders doing these amazing things, and they bring diversity, they bring interesting things. This is not a new problem with the web, though. I mean, you, you go on to Stack Overflow and you find the question of how do I hide an element on the web? And the answer is, well, it's just this single line. And that single line uses? jQuery. jQuery, absolutely it does. And so we're just kind of switching out jQuery as a prerequisite for something on NPM now. Yes, which no, might no, still no, be no, we're not. No, because with jQuery, at least I can go there and I can hit a big download button and I can get jQuery. I can include it with a single line that says source equals blah to the jQuery and then off I go. What, we, what we're talking about is the fact that you have to, first of all, get all these command line tools and you have to go crazy over this whole pipeline before you're even able to get to Hello World. We can't forget that Hello World experience because that's how people get started. If not, we run the risk of being essentially making an SDK for the web. I think you've, um, you've forgotten about the main problem uh, with this. And it's now that if we want people to be developing for the web, one thing they have to learn is Git. I don't think that Git is a big deal, actually. I mean, it's... Uh... <laughs> You don't have to. Are you sure you're not just forgetting how difficult well, I mean, the learning curve my, is? My Git workflow is typically to type tower, hit enter, and then use a GUI. Yeah, I, I still think you, then, you need to understand how version control works. Not, not just normal version control, but Git version control, where it's all, you know, it, it, you can rebase. But even if you amend the last commit, it's actually creating a new commit, because these are mutable things. It's like, it, people need to sort of understand that just to start with the web. And, and we, we sh they don't have to, right? Like, if you, again, you could download jQuery, just download, right? And I mean, this is what we need. 
Go on. No, exactly what you say is like we, when, when someone has a, a Git repo with a, um, a library or something, we absolutely must be able, there must be a download link, even if it's just linking into the, the you know the source, the, a single source, or in a dist folder like a built yeah. version. There should be a click there that someone could copy and paste that JavaScript, and now and now we're going. Right. If you don't want to go in for any of this and you just want to use this library. Mm. You know, there is a better way here where you can include it in all the workflow and do that. And it is a good thing and a professional thing to do. But if you just need it, go to the dist folder, get the thing, use it, smile a happy smile, and that's your day done.